All righty, folks. I don't know if you have realized this, but I believe Cody Sanchez has single-handedly changed the real estate investing game for the next five to 10 years. What do I mean by that? I believe Cody Sanchez and her message of buying boring businesses, her message of going to baby boomers, buying their business, seller financing, doing all these amazing things is fundamentally changed the real estate investing game. What do I mean by that? More and more real estate investors who have huge real estate investing reputations have given up on real estate. It's too hard. And they are going to go try to raise money and buy businesses. Adrian, are you seeing this in your community? I am seeing it in my community, in our community, right? I'm, I'm definitely yeah, seeing our. it in the in, in the real estate community. Most definitely, it's uh, it's interesting. It's like a, and and that was my question to you: Is that like an evolution stage? Like, is that after you buy rentals? Like, if you look uh, at the evolution and the next, because it's supposed to be development. If you stay in the real estate sector, right? It's yeah, I, to be I don't, I, I, I got to be clear. I don't think this is normal. <laughs> I don't. I, I think Cody Sanchez has done an amazing job of selling the sexiness of buying yeah. boring businesses. I think she, the idea of being a portfolio manager is sexy. I think there are massive social media influencers in real estate that believe it's hard today. I think they want to monetize their following. Right. I think they want to raise funds because their reputation can allow them to raise money. And because finding deals today are hard, they don't want to stop raising money. They just want to take the money and put it on a brand new asset, which, oh, by the way, they have no experience on. I'm just saying. And the business. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude, I think it's all about social media influencers chasing easy money. Yeah. And I think I think most of the time when people chase easy money, they get burned and unfortunately burn others. But yeah, yeah. I, I don't think this is normal. I don't think this is like a natural evolution for real estate investors. I think it's completely abnormal. I think it's driven by social media fame. I think it's driven by the ability to raise money from suckers. And um, they don't know how to stop. They don't know how to yeah. say no. So that's what I think is going on. Yeah. I, I, you know, for those of you that know how to run businesses that have came from that background, you buy a business that you know, I get that. You know, it's interesting. You were, we were, uh, I was on Business Mastery and, um, Am I forgetting his name? And I don't have his book. It's from um, uh, the Thinking Book. Oh shoot! How am I forgetting his freaking name? Ugh. Anyways, long story short, he did a whole segment on buying businesses. It was the first ever business mastery where they did a whole segment on buying businesses, right? So just like I, I think it's just like anything that gets really trendy, right? It, it, it gets really trendy. Everybody hops on board, but here's the, here's the problem. Just like in real estate, those that don't know what they're doing, those that don't know the business, those that don't know how to run a business, those that don't know how to lead people and operate, they're doomed. Dude, I want to be very clear about this. Doomed. I called the syndication catastrophe yes, that we are suffering did. through today a year yes. and a half ago. How yes, did I do did. that? Because I went to real estate meetups and 70% of the folks in the audience were brand new syndicators who owned zero real estate. I'm just saying. Yep. And they're blowing up right now. Yep. All of these social media influencers who are great, I shouldn't say great, who are adequate at real estate investing, but great at social media are going to lose their followers money because yeah. they have no idea how to run a business. Yeah. They have they're, no they're, idea. how. To, they're, they're not Cody Sanchez. No, Cody Sanchez not. is a private equity investor. She was right. on wall street. She was at Goldman Sachs. She, knows she what is she's doing. no freaking joke. Right. She knows what she's to doing. Think, to think you could go from flipping a house to flipping 10 houses to buying businesses and creating portfolios. You know how arrogant that is? Yep. Yep. This At is most the same. Definitely. Yeah, it's crazy. And for those of you younger guys and gals that hear this trend that have never done anything <laughs> before, that don't even know what it's like being an employee, can you please not jump on this bandwagon? Because you're going – I don't think you guys understand that now these companies come with employees. You are now responsible for someone's livelihood. It is no longer like I just this is not a game. This is this, this is, is gonna game. be so bad. 
It's it now again. again a couple I'm hoping of people it doesn't will, get that trendy. Oh, it's oh no, there's no question. Just in the last 30 days, I have seen more. And listen, let's be clear. Grant Cardone has been doing this for a year or two, right? He's already down the path. He got his 10x health. He's got true, this. He's got that. And, and he's talking about it more, right? Buying real estate's hard. Yeah. But when you got a bunch of money from people who want to throw in, you do it. And I'm not saying Grant's going to be fine, right? He's got, he's fine. But people, that's the followers. Exactly. It's it, anytime you think money is easy, oh, you're going to hurt people. You're going to hurt people. Always, always. Always, every single time. And what do, what do they say? Um, fat, fat, fast, fast money, fast money goes, goes just, just as fast as you received it is just as fast as it goes. Right. And we, we see, we see that happening in the real estate community right now with, uh, you know, with, with, with some things that people shouldn't be doing, right. Like some, yeah. uh, innovations that shouldn't be occurring yeah. oh. right? with, uh, with some wholesalers have no idea what they're doing that shouldn't be doing wholesaling. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I, I pray that no one gets on that bad wagon and they at least know what they're doing. Oh, you, your, your prayers are going unanswered. And you know what? We're going to find out <laughs> together right now, folks, I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to leave comments below with Every single real estate investor, social media hype man that is now talking about buying businesses. I think we will be shocked at how many people are making this transition. And, and again, I want to be very clear like I open it. Cody Sanchez gets 100% credit for making it attractive, making it seem uh, easy, and talking about huge rewards. That's what all these real estate influencers are attracted to. Oh my right. gosh. I could take all this money from my followers. I could put it in an investment. I can 10 X my return. I could be Help a billionaire in. doing this. Yep. It's not She's, that easy. No, <laughs> it's not that easy. Cody Sanchez has single-handedly changed real estate investing for the next decade. I firmly believe that because yeah. all of these influencers are running away from what's hard and they're running to what's perceived as easy, and it's going to leave a mark. Um, I'll speak for the real estate community. Thank God. <laughs> they can go that way. Yeah, go. Get them out of the real estate. <laughs> that was a quote I saw the other day. It goes, thank, thank you, influencers, for uh, uh, for putting everybody on wholesale. I'm just trying to buy a house. It was Don, Donovan Ruff, Ruff, Rutherford. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Or Rutherford. He had posted something. It was absolutely hilarious. That is hilarious. Folks, real estate investing is always hard. It is the proven path for most people to get wealthy. It takes time. It's not get rich quick. Uh, it's at least a decade, um, but it is certainly possible. So don't get distracted. Um, and also be very careful. If your social media real estate influencer is trying to raise money to do something they've never done before, be careful. Please be, be careful. careful. Yeah. Adrian, where can you find you? Yeah. Adrian Hernandez on Instagram, guys. Let's go. Thank you, buddy.